Hey, David from Power Probe. If you're not aware, these are three accessory tips we have that work with any Power Probe circuit tester to give you more functions. This is our PPT5VA 5 volt reducing tip. Knocks it down from battery voltage to 5 voltage. This is our PPPWM pulse width modulated tip that allows duty cycle output from your tool now. And the last one is the PP amp current reading tip. Now, why would I need any of these tests in a testing situation? 5 volt, if you're working around computer circuits, like you want to supply a 5 volt reference or something like that, this is going to give you a consistent 5 volts. It's going to limit the current. So if you're working around computer circuits, you're not going to be able to damage anything. The PWM tip uh, or duty cycle. More and more components on vehicles are being controlled by a PWM or duty cycle signal now. EGR, fuel pump, throttle body, <coughs> excuse me, lots of components nowadays, but now you'll be able to drive those components directly from your power probe. And the current reading tip, why is current reading important? That's actually the specification for testing on a lot of components on vehicles. What is the current draw of this component? More importantly, is the min max reading so if you have a large inrush that it takes a lot of large current to kick the thing over you'll catch that demonstrate i think on this fan here as i power up this fan you can see it took almost 600 milliamps to get it running and it's running steady state less than 500 milliamps so if you've got a motor dragging or something like a blower motor, or a radiator fan motor, you'll be able to spot that here. So those are some new testing features and functions you can get from these tips that you can add to any power probe.